Welcome back, friends. This video is in Venice, Florida, and it's a two-part series. This is the first part, and that's me just finding a piece of bone. Some people call this fish a sea robin. They have big, wide wings. And they flare out when they get scared. And when they want to, they can swim lightning fast. They got cool little claws that they use to dig around in the dirt and find stuff to eat. Sometimes the edges of their wings are really bright neon blue. I think those are juvenile sheep heads. You see a lot of life down there in Venice when you're diving looking for fossils. That's a good thing about it. Because you get to have a really good dive while you're finding fossils. There's my first tooth right there. All cleaned up. Hey look, I found a compass. Amazingly enough, it still works. No telling how long it's been down here. 89 minutes I've been down so far and it's time to go up. This is the second dive of the day. First dive, I found one good tooth. Second dive, it didn't take me long to find another one. There it is, right there. Unfortunately, the tip was broken off, but it's a good size. There's a lot of sea urchins down there, and they gather up these shells and hold on to them, kind of as protection. There's another piece of bone, probably from a whale. These little red grouper, they like to hide in their holes. This one might garden his home. There's another tooth. Fortunately, it has a broken ear, but it cleaned up nicely. Lots of stone crab down there today, too. They always have a bunch of shells right out in front of their home. And look at that. It's a big tooth hiding there with almost all encrusted, but believe it or not, it cleaned up nicely as well. These sheep said are funny, they follow you around everywhere you go. I think they're waiting for you to dig stuff out of the sand so they can find things to eat. Here I was helping them out. And they seem so accustomed to divers down there, you can almost touch them. While I was digging holes for these tooth heads, I noticed to my left there's a horse tooth. These are prehistoric fossils I'm finding. And this is back when Florida had horses, long before the Spanish reintroduced them. There it is all cleaned up. There are a lot of these colonies. I'm not sure what those are. If it's a tunicate or some sort of sponge. But they were everywhere. And they had these little fish that seemed to live on and around them. Nice piece of coral. The ever-present group are guarding its home.
many different species of fish do you see? It's a little lemon shark, dude. And another piece of bone. This area was a calving ground for whales. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. I'll be releasing it real soon.